So much of what we do can have a big impact in helping the environment and small things too, like choosing reusable grocery bags instead of plastic. And many of us are guilty of doing things that are not great for the planet. And we're not just talking about greenhouse gas emissions from vehicles. Turns out our favorite scents could also do some damage. Trooper Steve is here now with an in-depth look at the study courtesy of ClickOrlando.com. How many of you wake up in the morning and use some type of product that has a nice smell to it? Stop for a second and think about how many times you have used something that gave off a scent. This can be lighting a scented candle, spraying an air freshener, washing your hair with shampoo and conditioner. And here in Florida, man, bug spray and sunscreen are used most seasons. Now, according to a new research, even putting on deodorant every day could be affecting ozone pollution, believe it or not. For this study, the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration took a mobile laboratory out on field missions across the country measuring the presence of volatile organic compounds, or we're going to call VOCs. These are the primary ingredients in the formation of ground-level ozone, which can trigger a variety of health problems in people of all different ages. So in a paper published by NOAA in 2018, research found that fossil fuel-based chemicals in a wide range of consumer products rivaled to tailpipes as a source of VOCs. In 2021, a study published in, in Environmental Environmental science and technology found volatile chemical products, including paints, cleaners, and personal care products, were responsible for 78% of Manhattan's VOC's budget versus just 22% of transportation. The lead author of another study estimates that on average, 50 to 80% of pollution forming urban VOCs are associated with chemical products nationwide. So NOAA's mobile laboratory is now keeping tabs on the Southwest US. Since July, they have been on a road investigating the urban air pollution in Las Vegas and Los Angeles. So how can we change the trajectory in the ozone's pollution? Well, there's not a clear answer on that just yet because more research needs to be done. We can't control what the trees are emitting, but we can do is look for ways to make these common everyday products less polluting. For more stories on climate reports and the impacts of climate change, we have it for you right there on clickorlando.com slash forecasting change.